God, Ronnie. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another review. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another review. Boogie here bringing you a Yeezy 350 Lonemark review. Got these on Saturday locally. Love them in hand. Like the color. Yes, they kind of are like the statics, but um, I mean, it is what it is. When you're a fan of a shoe and you like it, sometimes you just buy colors that look alike or the same shoe over and over. So anyways, uh, we're gonna get into this review and then I'm gonna do a um for, for you guys, so stay tuned. All right, so here we have your standard 350 box. Of course, it has the 350 on top, brown box. Easy Boost 350, made by Adidas, adidas.com slash Kanye on the back pull part. And on the front, it reads Yeezy Boost 350, V2, size nine, US. Uh, the color code is FU9161, and you have that Lundmark, 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 and there's your standard labeling for those of you buying on a secondary market. And yeah, here you have it. Looks just like the statics, except for a shade darker. And yes, this is not the reflective pair, um, this is the non-reflective, but the laces still have the 3M, and of course that back tab part right there as well. And if you didn't notice, this shoe is missing a pull tab. I think this is the first one that doesn't have the pull tab on the back like they normally do. So if you were buying the Lumarks and yours has a pull tab, uh, you might have some issues there because like I said, these do not have pull tabs on the back. And it is um, that Lumark upper, which is like a, I guess like a creamish tan color. Of course, it still has your gray all throughout the prime net. That clear striping, like I said, straight see-through, clear on the side stripe. Um, it doesn't say uh, Easy or Supply 350 on the side. Uh, your 3M laces in that white and gray. No pull tab, like I said. Um, cream sole, uh, kind of a salmon color on the bottom. Uh, you got your 3M stripes back here on the back. And then you have your Adidas Yeezy insole with the cream colored lettering. And your white boost on the bottom. Nothing too crazy about this shoe, just a shade darker than the statics. So let me know if you did cop or if you plan on copying. Um, I personally like these. I'm a huge fan of the 350s and I will buy any pair that I can get for retail if we're being completely honest. There's some people that buy only Jordan 1s, only A6 Dunks, uh, Air Max. Me personally, 220 for a 350 that is very comfy on feet and I can get multiple colorways in. I'm probably going to keep buying, honestly. So let me know your feedback below. Please comment, rate, subscribe, like, and share. We did hit over 1,000 subscribers, so I need to figure out a giveaway to do for my uh, subscribers. So if you have any thing to ideas to throw out, just leave it in the comments below. And if you want to stay tuned, there will be an on foot. Thank you guys for watching.